taking off their burkas to hit the books. This should be a sign that things are getting better in Kandahar. When it's past tense, we use could. When it's present tense, we use cut. Correct, please. Only at the Sherzai Institute, a private vocational school with over 2,000 students, women are actually dropping out. They should come out and they should fight for their life, they should uh, study and they should make their future better. But many aren't. Taliban threats forced 200 students to quit in the last couple months. There were security problems, the parents are afraid. As you know, sometimes there are uh, shots, sometimes there are uh, uh, threats. Their walk to school takes them along Suicide Alley, one of the most dangerous streets in the world. So the school's administrator, Hassan Ula, is trying to bring the classes to them by opening a community center closer to their homes. You have to pay them for your admission. It costs Hassan $8,600 U.S. for six months' rent, furniture, and internet access at the center. But it isn't CETA or the military's provincial reconstruction team that's stepping in to give him a hand. It's one anonymous Canadian donor who sent him the money directly. And you are giving them education so their eyes open and, uh, and they connect to the outside world. They go to jobs, they work with men side by side. And these are all the benefits uh, that, that's uh, worth the, the risk. Cutting the commute has already attracted 45 women to sign up for English classes and online management courses. But their computers are old and slow and they're hoping the PRT will chip in. And it's something the PRT are considering. They say, yeah, I need, uh, I need nine computers, can you give them to me? Well, you've got to remember, we're not being bureaucratic about this and say fill in 19 forms and triplicates, send it up through all these different organizations. We're saying, we can't give you handouts. This isn't building dependency here. They've opened 17 schools in the last two weeks, but their priority is in towns outside Kandahar where the situation is desperate. And that might not be good news for the community center. But for these women, nothing is more desperate than having to skip classes out of fear. In Kandahar, this is Global National's Peter Harris reporting.